So now I just want to get the ni not nice, but to get the view inside. So I need to move my camera. See, I've set up uh, my scene. Uh, my camera is always pointing, pointing the empty, which is right here in the middle of my room, uh, working as a, for me as a constraint for for my camera. So, but you know that already. Okay. So now we're going to separate the floor from the walls because we want to assign a different texture to the floor. So select the building, press slash to make just selected thing visible. Tap to go to edit mode, face, select mode, and select the floor. And press P, separate, select it. Tap to go out of edit mode, and that's, that's it, yeah? Now slash again and we're going to assign some color to our walls uh, which is going to be basically just interior for interior walls but it's going to be uh, as well on exterior walls but we don't care about it because we are never going to be viewing this scene from outside all right anymore i mean okay so with the uh, walls selected now we have the walls and we click floor we have a floor separated so with the floor uh, walls selected press the material button here add new and select some color you like I'm not saying yeah, I like this one particularly but it's, it was quick and now select the, the floor we are in the material buttons we don't care about material because we are going to apply a texture but we always need to put the material first and then we can apply textures so anyway don't I don't care about the color here just need to add a new texture here now press the texture icon from here select the image and control and load this is gonna take me to my textures library so I'm assuming that you have your one as well and my textures is right here and I'm going to select this one select it and X repeat Y repeat twice F12 to render that's it not nothing special as I said before but you have to play with it you can press X repeat and uh, Y repeat even one more time and uh, yeah, that's it. So all you need to do uh, the same way as you have created uh, your furniture, you need to make windows and doors, door frames, window frames, and then window itself. And you can make it uh, uh, exactly the same way as you as you did these doors. So you're gonna be able to open it, yeah by pressing R and Z and open it like this one you're gonna do the same thing with uh, with your windows and then don't forget to bring uh, your ceiling back you can assign different material to that as well and uh, just play with it and it, you will get for sure a nice scene alright so this that's it for for now for this one for this video tutorial okay this way we are creating just the walls uh, when we are making the interior scene but sometimes you want to do uh, architectural visualization as I as I am working on now yeah as I saw you earlier this one so just very quickly to show you how to do that exactly the same way as cabinets press add mesh plane you can go to edit mode and press this button edge length scale and hold down the control scale it down to 0 0.2 which is mean the wall thickness is 20 centimeters a b select just this one i'm i'm going to show you just to create one wall yeah with the window for example or window and doors extrude hex 
coming. E to extrude only edges X. Shoop. E to extrude only edges X. This is the opening for our window, uh, for doors. E to extrude only edges X. E to extrude uh, X. This is gonna be window. E extrude X and E extrude X again. Now A and B select this two. E extrude and Y. A B select this. E extrude Y. It's gonna be half of a building, yeah. Now go to face select mode, select all, and deselect this one because the, here we have uh, we're gonna have a door. And uh, E to extrude region Z extruded to 0 0.95, which is gonna be bottom of our window or something like that, roughly. Now by holding down shift, deselect this one and continue extruding, extrude region Z to about 2 meters A to deselect, I'll go to vertex select mode select these 4 vertices press F, or F to create a face, A to deselect these 4 vertices F to create face, A to deselect I'll go to front view B for box Z to wireframe mode. B for box selection. Select all thing. Switch to face select mode. E to extrude region Z. Extrude a little bit. A to deselect. Vertex selection mode. Select these top mm, vertices which are creating a window entrance. Press F create a face, A to deselect and the same thing with a uh, window one, two, three, four and create a face, A to deselect Z to go out of the solid view and tap out of edit mode, you see this is the this is how you create a wall with a some depth, with a thickness and this way, this day, this takes a long. I mean, more time than uh, the first version. But if you want to get some results, you have to spend some time, yeah, by working on your projects. Thank you very much for your attention, guys, and I'll see you next time. All the best.